Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for August 30th, 2014. It's currently 10.20 a.m. And uh, right now we have warm temperatures out there, but seasonable for this time of year. Temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s over the far northern interior, upper 60s to lower 70s over the western suburbs of Philadelphia and New York City, and lower to mid 70s along the coast and in the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. We have winds now from the south and southeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour, and we're starting to see an increase in humidity. In short, summer-like weather, finally, for the end of summer. With temperatures for this afternoon rising into the upper 70s to lower 80s, it'll still feel rather comfortable out there for any of your outdoor activities. Unfortunately, the tranquil weather will not last much longer as an unsettled, humid, and hot weather pattern starts to take hold for tomorrow and continuing on through much of next week. So let's take a look at the latest observations. First of all, on our surface map, we have high pressure shifting off the coast. We have that warm front dissolving as that warm air is just rushing into the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, all the way up into Maine. Meanwhile, we have a cold front that is moving through the central Great Lakes that will move through our neck of the woods by tomorrow. This cold front will be weakening and more cold fronts are on the way, as you can see back to the west here over Montana, over the central Rockies, and another one just entering the west coast. We have what's called a Pacific air mass taking hold throughout the entire country, really. And Pacific air masses are different than polar air masses, in which that the polar air masses tend to warm up much faster than polar air masses. So you end up with temperatures, let's say, falling back for a day into the mid 80s before they start to moderate right back up into the upper 80s to lower 90s once again due to well it's that time of year where we do have hot temperatures it is still summer technically uh, until about what september 22nd or 20th somewhere in that neck of the woods so we still have to deal with these summer like temperatures even though we haven't seen it for much of this summer on the latest radar you could see Really not much going on over the northern Atlantic, but look to your west. You see this over the Great Lakes and over the Ohio River Valley. This is what we can be dealing with for tomorrow afternoon, Monday, and really for much of the week. No real organized area of th showers and thunderstorms. It's not like a, a specific line and then you're, it comes through and then you're done. More like scattered showers and thunderstorms and clusters of thunderstorms driven by mid-level disturbances and upper-level disturbances that will lift from southwest to northeast through the region over the next several days. So tomorrow and Monday are not washouts, just very unsettled. And because of those unsettled uh, disturbances moving through the region, unfortunately there will be a threat for showers and thunderstorms for your outdoor plans for tomorrow and for Monday. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see that high pressure system still holding on, producing clear sky to sky cloud cover throughout the region. But you can see that moisture is starting to pull over the Mississippi River Valley, lifting up from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up into the central Great Lakes. And that slowly is going to move this way. As you can see on the water vapor satellite picture, that nice impressive trough with an upper level low right here, basically shifting towards the east coast. Now the best lifting associated right here will lift up towards the St. Lawrence River Valley. So I don't think we're going to see widespread severe thunderstorms, but there will be an isolated threat as this pattern unfolds and this moisture that is pooling over the Gulf of Mexico lifts northward into our neck of the woods, making for some unsettled weather and of course some rather humid weather conditions for tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and through much of next week. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State UL website. We're going to use the European model guidance. Again, for today, high pressure and control, scattered cloud cover. Get out there, enjoy the weather. High temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Tomorrow, the hot and humid air mass starts to take hold. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s over the interior, mid to upper 60s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid 80s for much of the region, lower to mid 80s right along the immediate coast. And there will be a threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms. These thunderstorms will be capable of wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, very heavy downpours, some hail, and frequent lightning. For Monday, that cold front will move through the region again. 
The best potential, I think, is going to be in the morning hours. And I think by the afternoon, we start to clear out a bit. But still, there's going to be a threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day and very humid conditions. Temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows, mid to upper 80s for highs. Can't rule out a few lower 90s here and there in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. On Tuesday, we start to get back to work. September's here and school's back. And unfortunately, so is the hot and humid weather conditions. Now, it's ironic. Throughout much of the summer, we've been averaging near to below normal. And now, finally, now that school's back, now that summer is unofficially over, we get the summer-like conditions. And with that, we'll see a threat for some isolated showers and thunderstorms, but overall scattered cloud cover expected on Tuesday with temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s, high temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s throughout much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, lower to mid 80s along the coast and on Long Island. With the humid conditions, though, temperatures are going to feel like the mid 90s. Then we get to Wednesday, and again, we're going to have another cold front move through the region with a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. Not a widespread event whatsoever, but just because of all the heat and humidity in the atmosphere, you're going to be dealing with the threat for any one of these rogue disturbances moving through the region from the Great Lakes towards the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area to produce a line of showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows and mid 80s for highs throughout much of the region. By the time we get to Thursday and Friday, high pressure will start to be the dominant influence with scattered cloud cover and generally dry conditions. Temperatures will still remain above normal, but not as hot. We're looking at lower to mid 60s for lows and lower to mid 80s for highs. We should be around 59, 58 degrees for a low and around 79 to 82 for a high. So we're still going to average above normal for this time of year. However, don't get used to this hot and humid weather pattern for all that much longer because as I've been telling premium members and as I've been telling you, hinting at, this pattern is not going to last long. This is simply just a reload pattern, and while we're reloading, we actually have summer-like conditions. And by the time we get towards next weekend, we get ready for the kickoff of the football season, the NFL football season at least, well, the cool air comes back, and with that, we should return to temperature regime that is more near to below normal as we head into the first full weekend of September with high pressure dominating from northeastern Canada rather than the western Atlantic. And you can see here in the latest model gun 7 to 10 days out, we start to see a trough returning to the Aleutians. We'll see heights starting to build along the west coast and eventually a broad trough start to take over the eastern United States. And with that, you can see there's a distinct boundary and separation between the tropical air mass with this high pressure system you see that separation right here and then the polar air mass over southeastern Canada building south through the northern Atlantic and as a result you can see that temperature regime change we zoom in here and notice the difference here by the time we get to 10 days out here's your hot conditions over the west your humid conditions basically focus over the southeast and southern Mid Atlantic up to about let's say Virginia and then from about the Delmarva Peninsula on north, we have a cooler regime really take hold with 850 millibar temperatures around 12 degrees Celsius, which would lead to our temperatures basically returning to near normal for this time of year. And then our really cool air is starting to really start to lock in and take hold. Look at this. Below normal, I mean, should I say below freezing temperatures over northeastern Canada and also northern Canada is starting to take hold and take shape as we move forward over the next 10 days. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.